Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Geneforge 5. Well, we've leveled up a couple more times and become a fair bit stronger. We've also gotten closer to uh, Paracalia. I thought we could get to it through the Podling Crossroads, but apparently not. Maybe through the Western Passes, though I'm starting to doubt that. I think we're going to have to go through the Hetra Ruins to get to it. Oh, by the way, uh, just to give you an idea of just how long behind this uh, particular recording was, if you notice the notes, I have been informed that Gazakius was from Geneforge 2, which, if you'll pardon me going off on a bit of a tract here, we now know where everything in all the games was in relation to Terrestia. I mean, Geneforge 4 covers Northeast and Southeast Terrestia, and Geneforge 5, Northwest and Southwest. The presence of Gazakius here, that tells us that the Dry Peak Valley is right over here as well as all the mountains, since Gizaki Us was in the northwest corner of it. But that's not all. Geneforge 3 has you in the Ashen Isles. You, you think, okay, how the hell are you going to figure out where the Ashen Isles was? Simple. At the end, you go to a Shaper's Coast City. I know the name, it, for, it escapes me at the moment, but it is actually located on the north shore of northeast Terrestia, destroyed at the time. Periphera, that was it, Periphera. You find a Periphera, and it's on the north shore, so most likely, the Ashen Isles are, fa are somewhere to the north and possibly northeast of Terrestia. Susia Island, on the other hand, when you finish that, you end up landing in the city of Delame, which is located on the east coast of Terrestia, meaning Susia Island is somewhere far to the east. Likely, maybe even southeast or northeast, but mostly to the east. Probably southeast, if any other direction. In addition to that, this is probably going to stretch a bit further, but since when, uh, when the Sholai arrived on Susia Island, their boats were mainly landed on the eastern shore of it, I'm just going to assume that Su that the uh, Sholai lands are actually even further east than Susia Island. So, you think about it that way, you can actually, through these various uh, guesses and such, you can paint more of a world of what the land of this world is, which proves extremely interesting. At least for some people. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can go through the Hatra ruins here and f then find my way west into Paracalia. Let's find out. Okay then. You are outside a ruined town. The sight of shattered walls and scorched earth is becoming sadly familiar in your travels through Terrestia. This town was not as old and established as most of the Shaper cities. It was made of wooden buildings surrounded by a heavy stockade. If you stepped inside, you could get more of an idea of its fate. Above you to the east, you can see another pass through the mountains. As to the north, the pass is guarded by a fortress. Proximity to that Shaper Keep did not do much to protect this town. Yeah, I imagine. And I see various beetles and the like. Well, we can kill them, I think. Borer bug. That's interesting. Uh, despite the creation I gave to my... The strength I gave to my creatures, they don't seem to do that well. Okay, let's see here. This says... Welcome to Hatra. Paracalia West, Fort Vengeance East, Defiance Northeast, Rockfall Southeast, Meritev to the north. Okay. Nothing in there. A couple of creatures here, but they should be easy to kill. Poison that one. Kill that one. I don't think these beetles will be that big a threat, in all honesty. Okay, they attack twice per round, but... Their main thing is blatant damage, so they're not quite as annoying. A level up for, uh, yeah. Nice. You are st going to, st yeah. Ah! Okay, these guys aren't really overly annoying. They're just strong. A bit annoyingly strong, yeah, but strong. That's pretty much it. So, these beetles I don't think will be a big threat. I don't think. Unless we get swarmed and overwhelmed, which is possible. Let's see. Coins, ensnaring fibers, and a goblet. Nothing we need from that. 
Oh boy. Hello. And you can probably do something about that one. There you go. Thank you, Shurikan. And they're coming in, but they are going to have to lose some of their attacks. Oi! Get away from Shurikan, damn it! I said away from Shurikan. He is mine. There you go. Go for me. I'm the big shaper with the big armor and the big sword. I'm the bigger threat. Those guys are just support. No offense. I do appreciate everything you guys do. <laughs> hmm. Eh, what the hell, sure. Hello! Can't see target. Oh, come on. Oh, there you are. I didn't realize how far behind he was. No worries. Haha! -ha! Yes, attack me! Attack me! There we go. Yeah, these bugs are not a threat. This is much easier than that podling area. This... Oh god, I'm jinxing it so horribly, aren't I? Okay. What's in here? Is there something bad behind this door? There's a person here. Hmm. This could prove interesting. Hello? There is a man camping back here. He is cooking a thin soup over a small fire, being careful to obscure the smoke. He is taking great care to hide himself from the rogues, and maybe Shaper's so soldiers as well. He isn't helpless. A blade and a baton hang from his belt, although you suspect that the baton is unloaded. He warily rises to his feet, keeping his hand near his blade. Greetings to your traveler. I am Reynard. I am afraid that my rations are so meager I can't give the ho you the hospitality you deserve. I'd be willing to speak with you for a little before you move on. Can you tell me about these lands? These are the ruins of Hatra, a truly unfortunate settlement. Fortunately, if you are looking for Sukur, we are ringed it by Shaper fortresses. What happened to Hatra? It was destroyed, an unexpected and savage attack of rebel creations, led by an unbound, a true testimonial to the damaging power of uncontrolled shaping. Oh dear, there's going to be an unbound in there, isn't there? Tell me more about the Shaper forts. There are three of them in the mountains to the east, holding the line. They are very strict about those they tolerate, however. You never know who will be trying to smuggle yet another noxious new variety of creation. You would most likely be happier in the city of Paracalia. It is to the west. Reynard sits by his little fire and sips from a bowl of broth. You are afraid to ask what animal or creation he got the meat from. As you speak with him, the length of time since his last bath becomes increasingly apparent to you. Isn't this a dangerous place to camp? I will not deny it, and yet with care one can survive. Whatever one thinks of General Alwyn, he has made the stone plains safer for a lone traveler. What do you think of General Alwyn? Little besides what I have already said. Why are you hiding out here? With all respect, I ask you to let me maintain my privacy. Know much about the bugs outside? A new creation, made by the rebels and released into the storm plains. They reproduce, they eat, they occasionally kill, and I have no doubt that somewhere the rebels are working on improved versions. Thus do the arts of the shapers make life better for us all. A Trakovite named Alois asked me to find someone named Reynard. Are you he? He jumps to his feet. Alois sent you? That is... I am overcome. I am not used to such good fortune. As you might imagine, I have been trying to return to the Haven. I have had no luck. I lack the resources I need to get through the mountains to the north, and so I have been trapped here trying to figure out a way to safety. It embarrasses me to admit it, but I could use your aid. What were you doing down here? Being foolish, I'm afraid. I was trying to spread the word of the Trakovites in Alwyn's lands. I did not appreciate how efficient and merciless he is. I had barely found a few interested souls before his spies found me out. I barely escaped with my life, but I had to leave everything behind, including the equipment and money that was to get me back over the mountains. What help do you need? I need to buy supplies, and I will need to make a few careful bribes. In other words, I need money. Two hundred coins will be adequate. It hurts me to beg like this, but... Hopefully Eloise will be able to reimburse you. Eh, not a problem. I mean, we've got twelve thousand. Here, have two hundred coins. It's no big deal. He gratefully takes the coins. Thank you. I hope to be home to her soon. When will you travel home? As soon as I can. I need good weather, a good plan, and for a friendly caravan to pass by. <sighs> soon, I hope. Can you tell me about these lands? 
Okay, he already told us about that. Alright, sure it cost us 200 coins, but you know what? It's helping a guy survive. He needed the life and all that. Uh, there's the passage west. That goes to Paracalia Farmland. We're probably going to go there next. But first we need to finish looking through the Hatra ruins here. We're going to go inside after we finish looking through all the outside. Ah, south exit, leading to... Abandoned Farms. Hmm, and that actually connects to Paracalia Farmland. Interesting. And suddenly it's very windy and storming. Hmm. That leads further in, and those are... more bugs. Eh, no big deal. Two dead. Soon another. Probably another two, most likely. And... Oh, jeez! That's a big bug. That bug's a threat. Ow. Well, this could be bad. I didn't expect that big one. I might be about to die! Shit. Ah, crap! Okay, let's try this again with less pain and dying. Oh look, some of the bugs came out. Good. This will actually help. This will make the battle over there easier, I think. That one will probably die from the poison in a moment. There we go. Yes, now there's only four over there. Well, let's have a little of this and a little of this. Now, charge! Oh, come on, it survived the hit. Come on. Fine. You two take care of that. There you go. Ugh, emits an acid spray. Curse it. Yeah, come on. Fine. We'll kill these two, and... There we go. All that leaves is this one. Aha! That was a good hit, and it probably won't last another turn. Probably gonna die next turn, so... You know what? Oh, there we go. Perfect. And what did it drop? Tiny Orb of Mist. That'll go into storage. Delightful. Let's see. Crystal, crystal, living tool. Excellent. Now that that's done, it's time to look in here, and hopefully there won't be something painful. You step into the ruins of the town of Hatra. If you had to guess, you would say that it was abandoned a few months ago. Looking around and noticing which way the debris sprayed, you can see what happened. This town was destroyed from the inside. Somehow, rebel forces blasted their way through the keep in the pass above and assaulted this unsuspecting settlement from the inside. Since then, some effort has been made to ensure that shaper forces can travel through here safely. The walkways through the town are clear. However, there are no people, and you think that you can hear the occasional hiss and snarl. They, there may still be rogues hiding in the ruins. Hmm. Well, we'll try and clear out what rogues we can. Let's see. Glocks! Okay. Okay, those things are strong. And resistant to the magic effects of my creations. And they stun me. This is terrible. Okay, you know what? You run around. Ooh! That was very effective. Hmm. Shockingly so. Huh. Okay. Okay, these glocks aren't that bad, I think. Now that I figured out how, I just gotta get my creations close in to attack them. There we go. The only irritant is when they stun lock. Let's see. And uh, nothing in there. Wonder what some of these structures were. Swamp verbs. Eh, we could take them, but I don't think we need to. This might have been an er an alchemist or the like. Oh dear. Okay, fine. More glocks to kill. I just want to make sure they all get into position around uh, around him first. Ow. Ow. Ha. 
now. And he'll die from the poison in a moment. Oi! Don't attack King, you fool! There we are. Aha! Okay, I figured out how to take care of these locks with minimal problems. Just surround them, and then beat them with the normal attacks. No, I didn't want that. Ah, fine. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Yes, uh, so we can take on Glocks. I still don't think we'll be able to take on uh, the uh, whatever they're called back there, though. The uh, Unbound. Oh, there were people over there. Huh. Ah, hello. You meet a pair of human soldiers, a patrol from Fort Defiance. The fort sends soldiers down here frequently to make sure that the path through the town is free of rogues. Their rank is too low for them to be overly concerned when they see you. As soon as they convince that they're convinced that you're not a bug or a glock or something, they nod and walk away. Is that what's going to be in here? All these buildings are filled with glocks? Great. Oh, well. Take that. Take that. Yeah, this must have been a tailor's then. Uh, this building over here. Hmm. Oh geez, four glocks. Okay, let's uh let's take a look over here. Oh, that's nothing there. Alright. Four glocks. Let me just heal myself up and my creations a bit more. Yeah, I'm actually using essence pods more. Alright. Uh here's an idea. Protection and war blessing. That helps. There. That one is stunned. Ooh, that helps a lot. Excellent. Aha! Yeah, these these are perfect. Ah. 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 Well, we killed this one at least. Oh, there's a canister back here. Why are all these canisters around here? It's interesting. Susie. I mean, think about it. Susia Island canisters were everywhere. Fine. Greenforge 2 canisters, you didn't actually see them until you, uh... Until you got to where the canisters were located. You know, um... Oh, what was it? After you got out of the valley itself and into the main area. Ooh, Glachai. And a warmth ring. Hmm. Nah, I'll keep this. Geneforge 3? You found them in more of the hidden areas. You didn't really find them unless they had purpose to be there. Geneforge 4? Ah, oh, hello. Ah, come on, come on. Geneforge 4, they were pretty much mostly in, uh... Rebel locations, or... Taken from the, uh, rebelist by shapers. You know, confiscated or the like. Ooh, what's this? Glach shield. That's interesting. But I'll keep the infiltrator shield. Here, though? Geneforge 5? You're kind of finding them everywhere. Hell, this is a random town in the middle of one of the most controlled shaper territories, and... I'm finding canisters just sitting out in the middle of some random building that I don't even know who would have owned it. I think it's pretty telling. The canisters can't be contained or controlled anymore. They are going... People are going to be using them now, and there's not much that can be done about it. I don't think the Shafers can control the canisters or the power they're handing out anymore. I think that's what it's pretty much showing now. Very little can be done. So, the question is, what is going to happen? Damn it! There we are. Hey, level up for King. 
Excellent. Want you to get in close. There we are. Almost got rid of the rest of these. And there we go. It does wonder. If the Shapers win, how are they going to control everything that's happened? It's already spiraling out of control. You're finding canisters located in completely random locations. By all rights, the canisters should not be where they've been getting found. So, how are they showing up here, and how do the Shapers expect to stop this? There's too much. I'm not sure what they can do. Uh. Oh well, that seems to be the last of it. Hey, we leveled up again! Excellent! So, when we get into... So, uh, yeah, we're gonna get a lot of stuff when we actually finally get into, uh... When we finally improve ourselves more. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Yes. I will continue to save up at this point. Because I don't know how many points I'm gonna need. That said, we've pretty much done. We're pretty much uh, done over here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna sell the various stuff I had, including the Glock shield. This main boost is huge stun resistance, but I don't need that. So uh, yeah, we'll probably head into the far Paracalia farmland in the next episode. For now, we got stuff to sell, and that is the end of that. So. We're getting close to Paracalia. Next episode, we'll go into the farmland just outside of the place. Hopefully, the problems there are not too huge. Although, heaven only knows, it's probably going to be quite huge indeed. Ah, oh, well, we'll find out soon enough. Till then, I'm Chester44, that is E-King and Shurikan. This has been a Gene Forge 5 Let's Play, and I will see you all next time.